setting my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with grief. Yea, my soul and my belly, for my life is spent with grief, and my ears with singing, and my strength fell because of my iniquity, and my bones are consumed. I was reproached among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and I said to my acquaintance, they that did see me without food for me, I, for I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life, but I trusted in thee. O oh Lord, I said, Thou art my God, my times are in thy hands. Deliver me from thy hand of my enemies, and from them that persecute me. Let the face to shine upon thy servant. Save me from mercies, from thy mercies. Say, let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I am for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let like that the lips lie, let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. How great is the goodness which thou hast made for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of the present mood from the sight of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in the pavilion from the street of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he hath showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I, for I said in my head, I am caught up before thy eyes. Never said, thou hast left the voice of my supplication. When I cried unto thee, O Lord, the Lord, all he sent. For the Lord prevented the, the, the faithful and plentiful rewarded the proud door. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. The last reading taken from Psalm 71, verse 1 to the end. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation. Whereunto I may continually restore. Thou hast given commandment to save me. For thou art my rock and my prophet. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the righteous, unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Lord God. Thou art my church from, from my youth. By thee have I been folded up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bones. My praise shall, come, shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto many. But thou art my strong refuge. Hence my mouth is filled with thy praise and with thy honor all days. Cast me not out. Cast me not from me in the time of my strength faileth, for my enemies speak against me, and they that make me for my soul to keep myself together, saying, God has forsaken me, persecute and take me, for there is none to deliver me. O God, be not far from me. O my God, make haste for her for my help. Let death be confused, confounded, and conceived that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be con convert with reproach and honor that seek my heart, but I hope, but I will hope continually, and I will yet praise the more and more. My mouth shall shew forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day, for I know the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of the righteousness, even of thy holy. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hereof, hereto, have I declared thy, word, thy wondrous works. Now also when I am old and gray-headed, O God, forsake me not, until I have shewed thy strength unto this generation, and the power to everyone that is to come. Thy righteousness also, O God, is very high. Who has done good things, O God? Who is like unto thee? Thou which has shewed 
me with and short trouble shall quicken me unto thee. Thou which has shaped me and again and shall bring me up again from the deeps of my heart. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. I will also pray thee to God. Start me, even thy truth, O oh my God. Unto thee will I sing with the heart, O thou holy one of Israel. My lips shall bring me rejoice when I sing unto thee, and my soul which thou hast given. My song shall also talk of thy righteousness and the day long. For they are confounded for thy and brought unto shame that seek my heart. Thank you, and remain blessed. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I want you to stay with me. Can you come and jump, please? Hold on the candle. Because you are a person without sin. You are not. I don't know. I want you to light my candle, please. I want you to light my candle. Just whatever it happens. Put your, put your, put this away. As she lights the candle, she is a girl without sin, she's still a virgin. She lights her life into us. Thank you. And uh, she's a girl without sin, and she's a, she has given a light back to what we believe in. And uh, that light is what is going to shine on. Thank you very much. You can stay with me, or you can go get a sick card as much as you want. And uh, that's something that is going to stay with us because of the lights that has put in back to us. Because we have sinned against God and we have sinned against heaven. But we bow our hands and pray and thank you. Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and we have sinned against heaven. We have come today to ask you for the, to forgive us. For what we have, we have done, we have lived your path and we have followed other path. We have lived to worship the truth of Abiyama, which is our Lord and our Savior. We have followed all the God. But today we have come back to forgive. We ask for forgiveness for everything that we have done. Forgiveness for everything that we have done in life and we, because we know that we have seen a blessing we have seen against heaven. And today we have, we want to start in the, uh, in the beginning because we want to start everything in the same. We ask you to forgive us all with sin that we have sinned because we know that we have sinned against you all that. For you to come and help us because you, we know that you are mad at the past at us. And that's why we have been a slave in our land. And all we ask for is for you to come and support us and to help us restore our country back. And uh, that's the only thing that could make us, to, to give us identity for who we are as a person. Because as of today, we are nobody. We are slaves in, in our own land. The only way we can you know, restore our dignity back is to become who we are in the beginning. And today, we, we are asking for forgiveness. That's, that's the reason why we ask the children to pray for us. Because they are the people that are without sin. They are innocent. They don't know the sin that we have committed. Because we know that we have committed a lot. We have sinned against you. We have sinned against heaven as well. And so we ask them to, to pray for us. To light our candle, our candle back, to put light into our life back. We believe that you're going to hear our prayers and we, you're going to put us back to the line. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything because we know that we, you have heard our prayers because you said that when two or three or four are gathered together, you are in our midst. And you also said if we can come.
come back and we can, you know, tell what we have done wrong, and, you know, confess that you are ready to forgive our sins, and that what we have done today, we have come back in your face, and we are ready to, we have to uh, uh, you know, confess our sins, and tell us that we have been we have wrong for everything that we have done. We have not worshipped you, Kua Biyama, we, we have not called you in worship you the way you should be. But today we have come back to worship you. We believe in you. We count in you. And we believe that you are going to help us and restore our country back and you are going to help us to restore our country. And beloved Biafra back because that's the only thing that's going to give us our identity back because besides that we are a slave. You know, we are a slave to a slave. So if you can help us restore our country back and make everything possible. We will honor you, we will respect you and we will praise give our praise to you. And we will give our praise. We will worship you because there is no one like you. Because you are the most high. You are the Alpha and Omega, the many parts and the many signs, God. And the light that has been lighted in front of me today by an innocent woman is a young girl that represents, as long as I'm concerned, that represents a lot to me. That represents a fresh light to, to our lives, every one of us. Because this light is to show that it's coming from an innocent girl who has not done anything wrong, as long as we know. And it's giving us, it's giving it back to us. We, we have committed all sort of adultery and all the bad things. But we have come to in front of you to, to go back and the to bow our head and tell it to you, Heavenly Father, that we have done wrong. We have done wrong, we have committed everything. But we want to come back to you because we know that we're not clean enough to come back to you. The only way we can come back is by bringing someone who is as clean to help us immediately to bring you to you. And that has been done. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for everything. And we hope that this is going to be a new beginning and this is going to help us to restore our beloved country back. And everything that we ask for shall be given out to us. Heavenly Father, I am not a righteous one. I am not standing right here to tell you that I am so righteous. But I know that the kids, the Biafran people, that are the innocent ones, the ones who have not, you know, done anything wrong. If I don't deserve anything better, I believe that they deserve more than I do. Because they are the innocent ones. So please, God, I'm asking you today to help them and help me as well to help them for us to achieve this thing that we have been looking for, which is the, our state of the Afro. So we can be in the right direction. Heavenly Father, I thank you for everything you have done in our life. And I thank you for everything that you have given to us. And I believe that you're going to give us more because you know that we are descended direct from you because you are the most high. We are your children and you know why you place it up. You put us all the way, the, the place that you put us on because you said we are the rising sun. We are the children of the rising sun. And what we want to represent that we know we have done wrong. We have you know, sold our people and we have disappointed and betrayed our own people. But today we have come to ask for forgiveness. And that forgiveness, that's the reason why we're here. And a beautiful uh, young girl has, who is with no sin has right light in our light. And this light represents the light that we are going to carry on and make sure that our republic is going to come indefinitely. And that this light represents the light that's going to shine into the life of all these people around me. And there, I'm going 
gonna have they're gonna be successful in their life. And we're gonna have a, a, a country back Amen. which is called Biafra in the name of Chukua Biyama. Amen. Thank you everybody and I thank you God and I I pray to Chukua Biyama because I know that you have answered our prayer. Amen. Thank you. In the name of Chukua Biyama I pray. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.